Okay, in this lesson we'll be looking at the blue slice, the probability of union, basic. Okay, so as we take a look at this, we say M and N are two events. The probability of M is 0.23, probability of N is 0.41. We want to determine the probability of M or N. Given that M and N are independent, and in part B, given that they are mutually exclusive. Well, this is just another play off of the OR probability formula that we've done several times before. So let's go over and take a look at our notes. In the probability of union, or we might as well say OR here, that this is basically the OR probability type, which we've done before, we're basically going to use the probability formula. And as we've told you here before, the probability of A or B is a probability of A plus probability B minus probability of A and B. But we've talked about the A and B when we have an and probability that that can be calculated by the multiplication rule. So the probability of A and B can be taken out and replaced by the probability of A times the probability probability of B. So we can simply combine bits and pieces of two formulas to make one new formula that will work well to solve the problem that we have. So let's go back over and take a quick look and see what we have here. The probability in this case it's not A and B, it's M and N, but it's going to work the same way. So we're going to have uh, the probability of M is 0.23, N is 0.41. So what we're going to do is go over here and note 0.23 and 0.41. In this case then we're simply going to multiply 0.23 times 0.41. And now this just lends itself well to working with the calculator because remember that the calculator is going to keep the order of operation straight and everything. So really all we have to do is to simply enter this problem exactly as it's written. So we'll go 0.23 plus 0.41 minus 0.23 times 0.41 and even though that multiplication is at the end Alex uh, or the regular TI-30 calculator knows here that we have to multiply before we can add or subtract it handles all that for us boom the answer is 0.5457 so let's make a note of that 0.5457 and see what they want out of that let's go back and look here and see what they're asking us for it says do not round your response so we will simply put that all in there, 0.5457, and that should be the first part. Now, we're going to ask once again for the probability of M or N, but this time they tell us that the two are mutually exclusive. So we have to know what that means. Let's go back here and look at our notes. If we have a situation of mutually exclusive values, what that basically means to us is that the A and B is zero, that they don't share anything. There is no intersection between the two uh, things, A and B. So that makes it easy. That just simply means that we don't have to subtract anything because if that probability of A and B is zero, we simply add our two probabilities and we're done. So we're going to have our 0.23 plus our 0.41, which is going to be 0.64, and we're done in a flash. So let's go right back over to Alex and put that in right there at 0 0.64. And we are finished with that one.